بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين Dear students, let us continue in the 11th lesson which began last time we covered some of the exercises on uh, السكون uh, but before we move on there is some rules that we need to learn inshallah uh, one rule has to do with something that we saw uh, in uh, at the end of the first page let me just show you quickly let me get back here for example if you see at the end see this word here now this word has this alif you see it has like a sod type of thing looking on top of it right so what is this this is what we're actually talking about right now so let us cover that now <clears throat> so this one uh, actually is a type of Hamza it's a type of Hamza the Hamza in the Quran is two types one is this regular Hamza we learned right uh, wherever it appears, on top of alif, by itself, on top of alif, under the alif, on top of a wow, on top of a ya, yeah. wherever it appears, it is a hamza. Now, this hamza has no exceptions. You must pronounce it wherever it comes. The cutting sound, a, 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 e, u, a, 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 like sha, nun, right? You must pronounce it. There is no exception for this type of hamza. Right? So this is one type of Hamza, right? And that is another type of Hamza. Now that other type of Hamza has a Saad Sagira. You know a Saad? It looks like a Saad. It has like a Saad Sagira on top of it. Um, and uh, there's a reason for that. It's not Alif, right? Because Alif is without that. What's the difference between this Hamza and this Hamza? This Hamza, as I told you, there's no exception to that. It is always red. Always. However, that Hamza has exceptions. It is not always red. It is not always red. What I need you to remember now, first rule about this Hamza, is that if it appears in the middle, It's not pronounced in the middle. If it appears in the middle of a word, it's not pronounced. You ignore it. You ignore it. Uh, it's a different story when you begin with it. Now, you have to do something. Okay? But if it appears anywhere in the middle of the word, you don't pronounce it. Right? So this is the first main rule you need to remember. If it appears in the middle of a word, anywhere, meaning you don't begin with it, you don't pronounce it. Right? You don't begin with it, you don't read it. Is that understood? If you don't begin with this Hamza, you don't read it. Okay? Now, there are other rules when you do begin with it. That is something we're going to cover in the future, inshallah. But let me just give you some examples where it appears in the middle and you don't pronounce it. For example, here, if you look here, in the first page, on the bottom, first page on the bottom, we have here, Fa, and then we have this Hamza, and then we have Ra, right? So what do you do with this Hamza? Based on the rule that we just learned. You don't read it. Very good because it comes in the middle. It's in the middle. Are you beginning with this Hamza? No, you begin with the Fa. So this comes in the middle. So you skip it. Look. Fa, Fatha, Ra, Skun, Far. So as though the Hamza is not there. 
فتحة راسكن فر غين فتحة باسكن غب فر غب فر غب Okay? So you skip it in this case. Also, I'll give you other examples. Where, for example, you have uh, it appearing in the middle. Yeah. Look at the word on top, the first word. Wafatha. Where do you go from Wafatha? You go to Noon. Why? Because Hamza tul Wasal, this Hamza, it comes in the middle. It comes in the middle, so you skip it. Wafatha Noon skun wan. Hafatha ra skun har. Wan har. Wan har. You don't read the Hamza. Okay? Ah, uh, where else? All right, there's nothing else in this page that has that Hamza. Let's go to the following page. Here, for example, in the third page, we have examples. <clears throat> uh, let's read this. Let's begin, inshallah, the third page because this is a new uh, today's the second part. And when they appear, we will read them, inshallah. Uh, I hope you practice the previous uh, section of this lesson, uh, the first two pages, with and without hijab. Very important to practice. Let's continue this insha'Allah. Uh, what we'll do, we'll read the first three lines with hija only and then we'll continue uh, after that. We'll break it up, three lines, and then we'll continue to read what, um, you know, without hija insha'Allah. This way, uh, we get used to reading without hija because Quran is all without hija. You can't imagine reading the Quran with hija. Now imagine, you have this Quran here, right? Now imagine you have this Quran, Right, and each page of this Quran, <laughs> you cannot be reading this without without with with hijab. It's just too much. It's just too much to read with hijab. So you'll have to read without hijab. So we want to get ourselves used to reading without hijab. Let's begin with hijab here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ra fathara. Fa fathain skun fa. Rafa. نون فتحة ألف سكون نا رفع نا واو فتحة و ضاد فتحة عين سكون ضع و ضع نون فتحة ألف سكون نا و ضع نا نون ضم طا سكون نط طاف من قطب جد ف فتحة ف نط ف تا كسرتين تن نطوفة تن عين كسرة باس كون عب را فتحة را عب را تا ضمتين تن عب را تن زا فتحة جيمس كون زج را فتحة را زج را تا ضمتين تن زجراتن تا فتحة ذا سكون تذ كاف كسراكي تذكي را فتحة را تذكي را تا ضمتين تن تذكي راتن ميم دماسين سكون مس فا كسرافي مسفي را فتحة را مسفي را تا ضمتين تن مسفي را تن ميم ضمة همزة سكون مو This همزة again I said this is a cutting همزة Wherever it comes you have to pronounce it 
وادي هذا فتحة كسرة ضمة فتحتين كسرتين ضمتين سكون whatever it is you must pronounce it ميم ضمة همزة سكون مو مو make the cutting sound مو صا فتحة صا مو صا دال فتحة دا مو صا دا تا ضمتين تون مو صا دا تون ميم فتحة سين سكون مس غين فتحة غا مس غا با فتحة با مس غا با تا كسرتين تن مس غا با تن مس غا با تن ميم فتحة قاف سكون مقع را فتحة را مقع را با فتحة با مقاربة تا كسرتين تن مقاربة تن مين فتحة تا سكون مت را فتحة را مت را با فتحة با مت را با تا كسرتين تن مت را با تن سي مت And behind our teeth, you're spitting it out. Mat rabatin. Tafata dot skun tab. Lam kasraya skun li. Tab li. Lam kasratin lin. Tab li lin. Tafata kof skun tako. Wow kasraya skun we. تقوي ميم كسرتين من تقوي من تافو تكاف سكون تك ذال كسر يا سكون ذي تك ذي با كسرتين بن تك ذي بن just like the تا the كاف also you cough it out you spit it out تك تك ك ك تك ذيبن okay now let's break it up تس نيمن تس نيمن مس كينن مس كينن مم نونن مم نونن هذا ميم ده حاء محفوظ محفوظ مختوم مختوم مس رورا مس رورا مش هود مشهود أب وابا أب وابا مشفو مشفو فتن مشفو فتن مشفو فتن أز واجا أزواجا أشتاتا أشتاتا إطعام إطعام أعنابا أعنابا أفواجا أفواجا الفافا الفافا قر آن قر آن How do you do this one? What does it begin with? 
Aha. It begins with that Hamza that we were talking about previously. We said that if you begin with this Hamza, there's, a, there's, a other, there's another rule, right? If you begin with this Hamza, there's, a, there's another rule. Now let's cover that rule, inshallah, now. Okay. <clears throat> now that rule says what? We already have established that if you don't begin with the Hamza, you don't read it. We have, have already established that rule. Right? Now, question now is, <clears throat> what if you begin with it? What do you do in that case? That is the second rule regarding Hamza, this Hamza. Uh, by the way, uh, it's not necessary for you to know now, uh, but this is uh, Hamza is called Hamza al Wasl, the Hamza of connecting. Right? Hamza tul. Wasl Hamzatul Wasl Wasl Wow Sad Lam Wasl hey. Hamza of Wasl Wasl means connecting And you can you know what that means why is it called connecting because uh, it, 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 uh, it is used to connect words also I'll show you that inshallah uh, but what about the other Hamza? What about this Hamza, the regular Hamza? That is actually called Hamza to Al Qata. That is called Hamza to Qata. 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 Yani the word Qata. In English, it means cut. That's what it sounds like also. Cut. Cut. Meaning, wherever this Hamza appears, you have to cut the sound. But this Hamza, you don't always cut the sound. You connect it at times. And uh, uh, we have already learned, for example, if it appears in the middle, you, you connect what's before it to what's after it, inshallah. Okay? So the first rule is that if it is in the middle, you don't pronounce it. You don't pronounce it. Second rule. Uh, if you begin with it. If the word begins with it. Then there are actually a few rules. Um, there's three rules. There's three different rules. But again, I will give you one of those rules right now. Right? You take, you take things one at a time, you get to uh, retain them better. So, for example, this rule, you have already retained it, that if it appears, it appears in the middle, you don't read it. But if it appears in the middle, uh, uh, appears in the beginning, the first rule here is, if the word begins with it, Right? Then, uh, if the next letter is a lamb, and next letter is lamb, then always Uh, then the Hamza al Wasal will always take Fatha.
That is the rule. If you're beginning with Hamzat al Wasal and the next letter is Lam, then Hamzat al Wasal will always take a Fatha. Okay? That is what you need to know right now. For example, you have here. Examples? Here. Are we beginning with the word here? Yes. What's the next letter? Lamb. So here all the time when the next letter is lamb, we're going to take, give a fatha to Hamza al Wasal. So you're gonna pronounce it as is Hamza Fatha. It's a Hamza, right? Or no? Even though it's not the other Hamza, but it's a Hamza. With special rules. So say Hamza Fatha Lam Skun, even though you don't see Fatha. Hamza Fatha Lam Skun Al. Ha Fatha Mim Skun Ham. Al Ham. Dal Dumadu. Al Hamdu. Right? Now here what do you do? Wa Fatha. Oh, it's in the middle. You skip it. Very good. Wa Fatha Lam Skun Wal. Fa Fatha Jim Skun Faj. Wal Faj. Ra Kisrari. Wal Fajiri. Yeah, also you skip it in the middle. Wa Fatha Lam Skun Wal. Fathu. Wal Fathu. Yeah, you skip it again in the middle. Wal Asri Wal Asri Here Me Where you go from noon? Aha, uh -huh, you go to lamb because you skip the Hamzatul Wasal in the middle. Right? Minal Minal Mu'si Minal Mu'si Rati من المعصرات لم يجوا ذا بذهجاء تو ميم كسرى مي نون فتحة لام سكون نل من ال ميم دم عين سكون مع من المع صاد كسرى صي من المع صي را فتحة لف صغيرة را من المعصرة تا كسرتي من المعصرة من المعصرة من المعصرة من فتحة ما عين فتحة يجو فيه فيه عين فتحة لام سكون because skun cannot be read by itself. You have to connect with the previous letter, right? Moving letter. Ma'al. Skip Hamdatul Wasal in the middle. Ma'al. Usri. Ma'al. Usri. Again, skun letter you cannot read by itself. For example, look. If I gave you. If I gave you Baskun, you cannot read that by itself. It needs a sukun needs a previous moving letter. Right? So you need a fatha kasara or dhamma before. But if I give you like this, now you can read it. Ab. Or I say Ib. Or Ub. Right? You always need a previous moving letter. Always need a previous moving letter for sukun. You cannot read sukun by itself. There is no such thing. There is no word that begins with sukun. You have to always begin with a harakah. Now this is why I said you need to have a notebook because some things you need to write them down and you need to remember them. So if you see all of the sukoons, there's a ayn sukoon, there's a fa fatha before you have fa. There's a ayn sukoon, there's a da fatha, da. Ta sukoon, there's a nun damma, nuta. Ba sukoon, there's a ayn kasar before ib. Every sukoon connects with the previous letter. 
So from Ha'in to go to Lam. Ma'al Usri. Ma'al Usri. Now what do you do here? Where you go from Mim? Now if you say Mim, Fathalif, Skun, Ma. Right? Can you read this Hamza? Hamza to Wasal? No, it's in the middle. You cannot read it. Okay, so you cannot read it. How are you going to read Lam Skun? You cannot read a Skun by yourself too. So you can't read Hamzatul Wasal in the middle. And you cannot read Lam by yourself. So what do you do in this case? Again, Lam Skun needs what? Previous moving letter. What is the only previous moving letter? Mim Fatha. So you actually have to connect from Mim Fatha to Lam Skun. You have to skip this Alif. You have to skip this Hamzatul Wasal. Again. Question was, how do you read this, right? So, Mim Fatha what? I'm saying to you that Mim Fatha, you have to go to Lam Skun. Why? Because if you don't go to Lam Skun and you say, you know what? I'm going to say Mim Fatha Alif Skun. Ma. Mim Fatha Alif Skun. Ma. Then you're stuck. You cannot move. Why? Can you read this Hamzatul Wasa in the middle? No. Can you read this lamb skun by yourself? No. So you're stuck. You cannot read anything. So what you have to do, Hamzatul Wasal is known that you skip it in the middle. Okay? Let me write it down. Because now you really have to pay a lot of attention so we don't lose focus. Okay? So the word that I just showed you is like this. Now, look at this word. Now, question, is this Hamza Tulasa in the middle? Yeah. So, let's take it out. As the, Of course, we're not going to read it. It's part of the word, but we're not going to read it. Let's uh, remove it. Now, let's say, Mim Fatalif Skun Ma. Okay? Now, you tell me how you're going to read this. Skun. You cannot. Skun is a previous moving letter. Where is the moving letter before lamb? Skun. Alif is not moving. Alif is skun. Mim. Okay? So, as though we also skip this. So, it is as though we are going from Mim to lamb. Mim, Fatha, lamb, skun, mal. Because the Alif there, that was there and the Ahamzatul Wasal, we cannot read both of them. Right or no? So, we removed both of them. Right? Now let's look at it again, original word. Here. So you go. Mim fatha lam skun mal. Qa fatha lif skun qa. Mal qa. Raq srari. Mal qa ri. Ain fatha a. Mal qa ri a. Tadamatu Mel Kariatu Mel Kariatu. Let's go back to the lesson. Mel Kariatu here. Wow, Fatawa Hamza Kasra e Wai Zal Fatha. Where you go from the Al-Fatha? We have exact same case here. Right or no? The Al-Fatha, you have to go to Lam Skun. Hamzatul Wasa, you don't read in the middle. You cannot read the Al-Fatha Alif Skun because you'll get stuck because you cannot read Lam Skun by itself. So, the Al-Fatha Lam Skun, Zal. Wa'i Zal. Mim Fatha Wa'u Skun, Maw. 
وإذا المو وإذا المو همزة ضمة واو صغيرة أو وإذا المو أو وإذا المو أو دال فتحة د وإذا المو أو د وإذا المو أو د تا ضمة وإذا الموءودة وإذا الموءودة قالي next one here red ones we're gonna skip them for now where you go from كاف كاف فتحة أها you go to lamb سكون you cannot say كاف فتحة if سكون كا because you'll be stuck if you cannot read lamb سكون by yourself it needs a previous moving letter what is the previous moving letter كاف فتحة so ka fatha lam skun kal fa fatha fa kal fa ra fatha lif skun ra kal fa ra shin kasra lam skun shil kal fa ra shil this skip in the middle right hamza tula sa kal fa ra shil مبثوثي كالفراش المبثوثي Okay, we just got a few more examples and then we're going to end the lesson. Turn to the next page. Okay, next page. Uh, we're gonna skip this one because this is together. It's all black. And uh, you see, this is all blue, black, blue, black, blue, black, blue. So uh, this colors actually tell you that you're gonna read these words together. So we're gonna skip this because there's red in there. Here, Layla, Tul. Skip Hamza to us in the middle. Tul Layla Tul Qadri Layla Tul Qadri Ach Raja Til Ach Raja Til Ardu Ach Raja Til Ardu من أهل ال من أهل الكتاب من أهل الكتاب skip this one because there's red one there here يمنع عو يمنع نل يمنع نل ماعو يمنعون الماعو ن يمنعون الماعو ن again يمنعون الماعو ن وهو وال Skip some down in the middle. Wahu wal Ghafu Wahu wal Ghafu Rul Wahu wal Ghafu Rul Wadudu Wahu wal Ghafu Rul Wadudu Where you go from Zal? If you say that the mawa skun thu, you'll be stuck. Because Hamza Tulwas in the middle, you don't read. And you cannot read lamb skun by itself. So you have to connect with the previous moving letter, which is that. So that the ma lamb skun dhul. Dhul ar. Shil. Dhul ar shil. 
لسه ميم ميم فتحة ما ذو العرش الما جيد ذو العرش المجيد okay. skip this one this red one here نون نون here أعطي أعطي ناكل أعطي ناكل كوثرة كوثرة أعطيناك الكوثرة الحمد لله Yes it was a long lesson and I am tired too But You don't expect things to come easy You always have to put some effort into it Right or no? I will remind you again, this is a very strong course, Alhamdulillah, but it's not a magical course. Uh, you cannot expect to have absolutely no effort involved. I mean, you know, that is dreams. That is fantasy. So you have to put some work into it. What I need you to do now, that I need you to practice this whole lesson. All these four pages, all those words we practice. Practice them with hijab, break them up with hijab, without hijab, and read them without hijab, whole thing. Uh, at this time, you really need to get very, very serious. And if, for example, uh, you can try to practice and try to master everything that you covered before, now it will be very helpful to you. Because now... Um, it's going to, uh, the lessons are going to get bigger and the lessons are going to be tougher, inshallah. Uh, we are in the 12th lesson now, alhamdulillah. We are going to be moving fast now to conclude the book. So, alhamdulillah, you are almost there. And, you know, the horse, the race horse, uh, always pushes a bit harder before that finish line. You have to do the same thing, inshallah. You're almost finished. This is not the time to give up. Just practice, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, uh, the previous lessons and we'll see you in the next lesson inshallah where we cover these red rules inshallah ta'ala uh, in the next lesson study assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh